everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, a channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about a brand new widget that's called Smart Suggestions. Now this is a brand new widget that was added into Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. This is the second update of the beta program. Hopefully soon One UI 5.0 will be pushed off pretty quickly. Now this is just simply a widget, the name is self-explanatory, that you're able to add to your screen that will give you suggestions based on your use. So it'll show you different actions or applications that you're able to open. Now, the reason why I like having this widget on my screen is because some of these little applications that it's showing is actually inside of folders. So first off, here is messages. I have it down over here. So currently that one doesn't help. This Facebook one is a part of this folder over here. So that does save me one additional step. This game over here is called Zen Idol. That's going to be over here inside of Game Launcher. It'll take a couple different different tabs to get inside of it. Here is the Chrome and then also my Gmail. So again, that's going to be a part of this everyday folder that I have. Now, when you take a look at the larger one, you know, you're going to see a couple other options. Same thing here. This is a part of my everyday folder. This is part of my YouTube folder. And then this is a part of my tools folder. All of those just sitting right here. Now to add this to your home screen, just go anywhere on the home screen that's empty, press and hold and then tap on widgets. Now through here, you're going to scroll all the way down until you find smart suggestions. This is where you'd be able to tap it and then you can add it to your home screen. You can move it around, pretty much place it anywhere on the home screen, and you can also change the size as well. So if you already have it on the home screen, I can bring it up as a four by one, I can do it as a four by two, and that's pretty much the main size I can get to. I don't believe it can really get any larger than this. So you're gonna see a four by two, pretty much no matter how you have it set, it just kind of depends. Do you want it to be a larger four by two? Do you want it to be a smaller four by two? Or you can do four by one. So the four by one and four by two is really the only options you have here and then it just kind of depends on how big you want that widget to kind of show so i just have mine over here in my stacked widgets and then i also have it over here just for show for this video here on the second screen but hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you appreciate this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later I got things to show.